It's time to receive a blessing through song and a ministry of God's Word as we present Good News with Sister Sarah Kelly. Hello and welcome to the Good News telecast. We're so glad that you've joined us tonight by a way of Channel 16 or uh, on the internet or ever how you're getting our program. We are glad to have you aboard. And uh, we welcome you to join in with us when we uh, sing and uh, when we pray and during the preaching of God's Word. We just pray that you'll uh, enjoy it and be blessed. I get so many um, pray, uh, uh, phone calls that will tell, they'll tell me uh, I enjoy that so much or a lot of them will tell me this is my church and it makes me feel so good to know that uh, we're not here just wasting time. We're here to bless people with the Word of God and the songs that we sing. And whatever we do, the prayers that we pray, uh, I'm glad that uh, we're able to be able to be a blessing to them that uh, look and listen. And I, now I want to uh, thank our supporters who uh, keep the good news on the air. Uh, we're so glad to have such loyal people uh, that support our program, and and uh, we really do appreciate you. And, and we pray for you every night and and, and day sometimes, and um, but we never let a day go by that we don't pray for you. And we love you, each and every one of you, with the love of the Lord. And we um, thank you for all your cards, your letters, the stamps. Uh, they are, are so uh, much of a great help to me. And uh, some of them, sometimes you send little gifts, and we just thank you so much for what you do. And um, we uh, are glad when those call us with their prayer requests. Uh, we're glad to, to pray for the sick. Um, it, it blesses our hearts sometimes. Uh, the, the Lord just comes down in a mighty way in the Holy Ghost, and um, we are blessed ourselves, um, and we're glad to pray for the, the sick. Um, I've been praying for the sick since I was about 13 years old, and I want to do it until I die, praise the Lord. And um, with now we want to introduce our people that we have in the studio with us. And we have Brother Joe uh, Kelly, my, my husband. We're glad that he is able to be here today. He's, he's been pretty bad lately, but he's, he's feeling uh, better. And um, we have Sister Ashley Stamey, and she's with us, and she'll be singing on this program. And um, we appreciate her. She's, she's a blessing to us. And we have our brother over here, um, Mr. Melvin Brown. We're so proud to have him. He... Uh, he loves to come and watch us uh, tape, and I know he gets a blessing out of it. And uh, then we have Brother Maurice Kelly, my son. And we're glad to have him, and he'll be singing and preaching on the program today, and he needs your prayers too. Um, he's, he, um, he's sick sometimes, and about every day, I guess, he, he, um, he gets to feeling bad. And so uh, just pray for him. And uh, pray for me, too. I need prayers, too. Uh, um, I need uh, many touches of the Lord. Um, I have a lot of sicknesses, too. Um, and I know uh, God is able to heal. And we're going to just keep on praying. So uh, at this time, we're going to take our prayer requests to the Lord and uh, give him thanks also for the prayers that he's answered. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come to you, Master, we thank you, Lord, for the privilege we have to call upon your name. We're thankful, Lord, that we can be back on the good news, Lord. We know that many of our brothers and sisters and our friends, Lord, and families, Lord, are watching the programs, and we know, Lord, that they're being blessed by them because they tell us so. 
And, Lord, I pray, God, that you would just bless each and every one of them, Lord, and help them to be blessed by the program tonight. Lord, by every song that's sung and every prayer that's prayed um, and the preaching of the word, Lord, I pray, God, that you would just bless us all and use us for the glory of God, Lord, and all oh, that that you do for us, Lord. We're going to give you praise and glory and honor. And, Lord, we thank you for the prayers that you've answered for the sick, Lord, um, and those, Lord, um, uh, that have many problems, Lord, that they are facing. And we know how the enemy is working, Lord, against every child of God. Um, and, and, Lord, we pray for each and every one, Lord, that calls us and tells us what they're need, in need of. Um, we bring it to you, Lord, because we know you're able to meet their needs, Lord, and our needs. Um, and, Lord, I pray that you would bless us today, Lord, as we present this program. I pray, God, that you would just anoint us with your power and your presence and touch our bodies and help us, Lord, that we might be a blessing to someone, Lord. And we'll thank you and praise you for all that you do, for we ask it all in the precious and holy name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, at this time, Brother Maurice and I am going to be singing a song entitled, The Son Has Made Me Free. Praise God, he has. Amen. we're going to sing he will calm the troubled waters of your soul and surely he will he's done this for me many many times and i'm sure he has all god's children praise the lord i hope it'll be a blessing he will calm the troubled waters Oh, baby. 
God. Sister Ashley is coming now, and she's going to sing a song entitled Little David. <laughs> Brother Maurice is at the pulpit ready to bring our message. Praise the Lord. Appreciate another opportunity to be back on the Good News program tonight. I pray that you've enjoyed the uh, singing and the music tonight. And uh, I pray that you enjoy the preaching. I pray the Lord blesses you uh, tonight as I try to preach the word. Uh, and if you'd like to go ahead and turn your Bibles, I'll be preaching from 2 Timothy, the uh, third chapter. But uh, I'd like to give you a big invitation if you'd like to uh, call my mama or uh, send a, a prayer request, a donation, or whatever you'd like feel led to do, you can contact her at Good News, Post Office Box 664, Pendleton, South Carolina, 29670. Her phone number is 864-646-3331. We give you a big invitation to come be with us at the Church of God on 235 East Blue Ridge Street in Pendleton, South Carolina. Uh, services start Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, uh, Sunday night at 6 o'clock. And uh, come expecting the Lord to move because God has never failed us. God has always been there uh, with us and among us. And the reason that is because that's his house. Uh, it belongs to God. It's not mine. It's not nobody else's. But it's the Lord's, and uh, that's the way it has to stay. For the blessings of God to continue to flow, it has to be the Lord's house. Before I begin to, uh, in the message tonight, I'd like to go to the Lord in prayer and just ask God to bless us tonight. And out there in TV land or computer land tonight, if you would, when you pray with me, remember me, Lord, help me uh, be able to preach this lesson or this message on the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we could. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you today. I thank you, Lord, for another opportunity of prayer. I thank you, Lord, today I'm able to call upon your name once again and ask you for your help. Lord, it's your servant Maurice again today asking you, Lord, for your help. I ask you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost, Lord, today. For without it, Lord, I can't do anything. I pray that a soul uh, out there in TV land or computer land tonight would be saved. 
uh, for this simple message from God. And Lord, I, I pray, Lord, you'd help us gather wheat into the garner, Lord, today. Oh, help us be so winners for Jesus. Help us gather the sheep into the fold, Lord, I pray. Uh, and bless us, O oh God, on all that we do, Lord, and we'll forever praise you and bow our head before you, Lord, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. If I had a, a subject tonight, it would be uh, perilous times uh, are not going to shall come, but perilous times are here. They're here in this world, present world, that we live in today. They were present even in Paul's time. Uh, they were some sneaking in on the wares. Uh, I believe Diotrephes forged a letter in Paul's name and told lies on him and Demas forsook him for the love of this present world. And Mark, I believe he, he um, pulled back a little bit in his ministry and Paul didn't want to take him with him, but praise be unto God by the mercies of God and the love of God. Uh, old Paul in the end, old Mark got things right. Uh, and he told him, said, bring Mark with you. Uh, oh, ain't the mercies of God good, praise the Lord. Uh, oh, but it says in the scripture tonight in chapter 3 uh, and verse 1, it said this, Know also uh, that in the last days perilous times uh, uh, shall come uh, at Friend, I'm here to tell you tonight, uh, we are in the last days. Uh, we are in the few last few minutes or seconds of time. Uh, uh, God is going to wrap this thing up. Uh, this world is getting in a mess. Uh, on sin on every hand. Uh, everywhere you turn today, sin uh, is on every corner. Uh, uh, Satan trying to destroy the Christians uh, because he hates us today. Uh, I hate him too. Uh, he's my heart enemy uh, and praise God uh, I like to give him a black eye whenever I can hallelujah and let him know who I serve uh, I serve his boss man today praise the Lord it said for men shall be lovers of them own selves covetous will you see that today uh, people are not concerned you know they have no love one for another they're selfish seem like even in families today, families are turning against each other. You see, the mother against daughter, the father against the son. We, we see uh, children murdering their parents, parents murdering their children. Oh, praise God, they're incontinent. They have no self-control today. Uh, uh, we see uh, 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 sin uh, running rapid on every hand. Uh, uh, things are so out of control. Uh, and I'm going to tell you here tonight, the government can't fix it. Uh, only God, uh, only Jesus can fix it today. Uh, that's what's wrong with this world. Uh, people have forgot about God. Uh, they took him out of the schools. They took prayer out of schools. Uh, they took God out of schools. Uh, they're telling kids now, you don't have to uh, put your hand over your heart to do the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Uh, well, I say, God help America today. Uh, we should love our country enough uh, and for the men that fought in it that we would honor them, that we would honor them and the Lord most of all. Oh, it said people to be covetous. Oh, people today desire, they want to keep up with the Joneses. And they don't want nobody to outdo them. It don't matter the cost, how they have to get there, uh, who they got to step on to get up the ladder. Uh, it's all about me. Uh, oh, what's in it for me? Uh, oh, it boasters and proud. Uh, oh, we see people today full of pride. Uh, oh, pride going for, before destruction uh, and a holy spirit before fall. Uh, I'm telling you what today uh, is Satan letting you lift your eyes up in pride. Uh, the Lord's going to make you a base uh, if you don't humble yourself uh, in the sight of God. The Lord will bring you down one way or another. Oh, blasphemers. Oh, we see uh, infidels, people uh, don't believe and believe in God no more. Oh, they, they blaspheme in the name of God. Men lie with men, women, Lying with women, working that which is unseemly. 
and the wrath of God shall come upon them unless they repent and turn from their wicked ways. Disobedient to parents. Oh, this is even being taught in schools today. What a shame and what a disgrace today. I see, I see uh, people in the world today, uh, you know, they're scared to whip their children. They're scared to get uh, DSS in on them or whatever. Well, I thank you. I praise being to God. I thank the Lord. I raised my son according to this right here. It was my law book. It don't matter what the law might tell me. I had to raise him in the fear of God. And the Bible tells me if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. And foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. But the rod of correction will drive it far from him. That's what's wrong with the world today. People of God forgot what the bell uh, and what the hick is for today. The children rule the parents uh, instead of the parents ruling the children today. Uh, everything just turned around backwards from what it used to be. Oh, it says unthankful and unholy. You know, you can, you can be nice sometimes even in stores, in department stores or wherever you might be. You let people... Uh, Get in front of you trying to be nice or open doors for the ladies if you're a man as they come in the doors. And they look at you, a lot of them like, right funny, like, like what are you doing? Chivalry ain't dead in my eyes today. I, I still think we ought to be nice to people. But you know, a lot of people today, they, uh, we live in an unthankful world today. Everybody said, you know, this is uh, this generation coming on, this is the, the entitlement generation. I deserve this, and I deserve that. Well, I'm here to tell you tonight, uh, I had to earn what I got. I had to work for it. Uh, and the Bible tells me I shall earn my living by the sweat of my brow. Uh, not what Mr. So-and-so over yonder, rich man or whoever, uh, can give to me. Uh, but I got to earn it with my own hands. Uh, that's what the Lord told me. He said, if I didn't provide for my own household, uh, I'd be worse than an infidel. Uh, and I provided for my home, praise. Praise God, uh, to like the Lord told me to do. But Paul is telling Timothy, you know, Paul's departure was at, right at hand when he was telling Timothy these things. He was telling him the things that were going to happen to him and he could expect as a minister of God. And that's like my mama, she got to where she can't hardly, she's getting old and she can't hardly go no more. And she had to pass the torch, so to speak, on to me. And pray God, I'm getting on up a little age and age too. And you know, maybe someday, if the Lord will, I have to pass the torch on to little Ashley and let her care for the Lord. But whatever we got to do for the glory of God, I say, Lord, help us to do it today that your glory might be seen in this world today. Praise the Lord without natural affection. Oh, you see women having children today, putting them in trash bags, throwing them in garbage dumps, throwing them over bridges, cutting their throats. Oh, all kind of all kind of messed up things going on in the family. You know why that is? Satan has control. They forgot about God. They forgot about God. A family that prays together will stay together. A family that prays together, they'll stay together. Truce breakers. Oh, truce breakers. I remember even in my time, when I was a child, my daddy, I remember him going to the bank. He didn't even have a job at the time. He had lost his job, got laid off. But he needed some money. He went to the bank, and the old banker knew my daddy. He knew he was a good man. He let my daddy borrow, I believe it was $5,000 on a handshake. Go to the bank and try that today. You got to sign your whole life away for that kind of money because people are, uh, are, are uh, uh, truce breakers. They don't want to hold to what's right and what's true. False accusers, people to lie. People in this world, they seem like they'd rather tell a lie than tell the truth today. That's the world we live in. People to be incontinent, no self-control. 
You see women having babies out of wedlock on every hand today. Sin is running rampant in this world today. And that's just what Satan wants. People need, we need to turn to God. We need to turn to God in America today. We need a revival of the Lord and his power today in the world today. Uh, that's what people's missing. They searching for other programs and uh, money to take care of this and money to take care of that. Uh, but it ain't going to take care of it. Uh, it's just going to compound the problem uh, and be abused. Uh, I tell you what, I consume everything uh, and make things right. Uh, in the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, living in people's lives today, praise God. Praise the Lord. That's all I have tonight. I hope you got something out of it. Come back and be with us next Saturday night. May the Lord will. And Lord, if you don't know Jesus tonight, would you ask him to invite him into your heart and ask him to save your soul? That is my prayer this night. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord.